All right, well, this is finally the time I've been saving all this scrap 1 8 aluminum for. I'm gonna try to use 1 8 where I can for all the mounting points, and it's probably gonna be 1 16th for the supports. Let's go ahead and start getting things measured out and marked off, and hopefully rivet it onto the boat. All right, so there's the two mounts. Now I can go ahead and attach these to the transom and give me something to bolt onto. Something I just thought of that since I'm going to be drilling into the transom here and water could possibly splash over and get between the braces, I'm going to add a little bit of silicone in these holes before I put the rivets in. Oh yeah, that's nice and strong too. All right, first cross brace is in. Let's check our level. Perfect, absolutely perfect. All right, same thing with the silicone. So something I didn't think about when I was making these braces is that these are actually also providing transom support. So with that in mind, I am gonna add two anchor points on the top here just for the back and forth motion. All right, so we have a really good start to this back deck. The last thing I wanna do before we move on to some other items is attach the lid to the back deck. So let's go ahead and check out the hinges that I got and see how we're gonna get them attached. All right, so the hinges I got are these double offset piano hinges. Once mounted, the hinge will lift up and allow the deck to open. I wanna make sure I get this attached first. That way I know where I need to run my supports for the lid, but also being able to take the uh, gas tank in and out of the boat. So I ran up to the hardware store and got some stainless uh, pan head half inch screws. All right, so with our hinge in place, now we gotta get this attached to the deck. Since we already centered this on the lid, it's gonna be pretty easy. It just needs to get fit into place where it's gonna sit on the deck and then screwed down. All right, so I went back and forth on a bunch of ways to try to get this to fit in and it was just too tight on this left-hand side. I have it completely straight, it's centered. This line just must not have been cut exactly perpendicular to the front here. It happens, no big deal. What I was able to do is just cut off a little bit of the carpet, fold it back. Basically, I sanded it down, and then afterwards I sealed it up with some uh, oil-based paint just to make sure anywhere I took off epoxy, it stays nice and water sealed. I'm giving this a minute to dry, then I'm gonna rewrap the carpet, staple it back on, and get this done. All right, with that all cleaned up, let's take a look and see how it closes now. That's definitely the fitment I was looking for. Nice and tight. I don't want it so tight that it just flops up and down because as the carpet wears away, you know, it's gonna get a little bit looser. This is a nice solid platform now. Now I'll be able to build out my supports and get this done. All right, now for the lid supports, I cut myself uh, two 12 inch pieces of 1 8 here. These are gonna come out somewhere like that. And then I'm gonna run a riser post uh, from the brace on the bottom of the boat. Um, all right, so here's the solution I came up with. My goal was I didn't want a cross brace going across completely because this spot's open and I didn't wanna see the aluminum. I built a riser coming from the bottom brace up into the extension that's supporting the hatch lid. All of these joints kind of work together. Now this corner is super, super solid because it's being held up by this brace and being supported by this brace. All right, so now I need to figure out a way to replicate this on the other side. Um, I might have a little bit more room to do things differently over there because I'm not accounting for the gas tank. I am gonna probably wanna sort my batteries out over there before I get to that side. All 
All right, so this brace is looking really good now. It's almost perfectly solid. We just gotta add that vertical support now. Perfect fit. Perfect. All right, that support looks really good. I'm just gonna add one more tab down there at the bottom, attaching the leg to the brace, and this side will be done. Just using this uh, small piece of 1 8 scrap I had. Okay. okay, with the bottom bracket in place, this thing is absolutely rock solid and now moves the entire boat. Uh, let's go ahead and get this in place and see how it all looks. All right, guys, well, there it is. This back deck is looking absolutely beautiful. I am so incredibly happy with how this came out. Now, we have good support for the side panels here and the actual deck. This all closes just the way it should. There's room in here for both the batteries and the gas tank now. Man, I cannot believe how well this is working. So you can go ahead and close this up. Now, like I said, it's a little stiff still, but that's okay as the carpet wears away and it kind of works itself in. And that'll be a nice tight seal. Uh, now I'm happy that this isn't gonna just be bouncing around in the back. You know, it kind of wedges itself in there, but it still comes up and out really easy. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. Batteries are in there. They're not mounted down yet, but they are in position. I have a solution for that. Gas tank's in place. That looks really good. Back deck's done. Next things I need to do back here though, is to set up a seat mount, safety lights, a bilge. I'm gonna be setting up one of these uh, AC port plugs. This is gonna go somewhere in this area here, just like that. That way I'll be able to just plug in the boat to charge the batteries. All right guys, well this back deck was a huge project, but I am so incredibly happy with how this came out. If you guys have any comments or feedback on how it went, feel free to drop me a comment below. If you guys found this helpful, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna see more on the Jumbo build, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.